All right, now welcome to SC Custom Designs, where guess what we're going to be doing? No more guessing, you can see. Again, you're in uh, the shops of SC Custom Designs. Um, I do this on the side. Um, that is, I do woodworking. And uh, any tool you see here, I've done probably not one or two or three reviews on the tools and lots of tools you're not even going to see. Okay, so that aside, what are we doing here? We're making a wedding gift and the wedding gift is going to be um, like a, a, a keepsake box. And uh, I chose really, really nice wood. I'm going to show you that wood. That wood is um, African paddock, which is this. Okay. And so there's that. And then the lid, I'm going to be, um, where did I put it? Making out of this, this purple wood. Oh, here it is. So I'll be joining this purple wood up. And that's going to be the lid. And various other details. But So how I'm going to join the unit is with uh, dovetails and pens. Through dovetails, to be specific. So I've already gone through the setup, but I wanted to talk about some of that setup for you. Um, so I'm going to take this off. This is a an extra piece. You don't actually have to buy this uh, when you buy the Lead D4, but man, does it help, and you'll see why a little bit later. All right, so let's go ahead and set that aside. <clears throat> Here are the pins. I have the pins all set up. So initially what you do to set set this up, oh, and by the way, let's start, there's this little bit of series going on because I just replaced the backboard here. Um, so look up that video, why it's there. All right, so basically these pins are very highly configurable. Look up my older uh, D4 Pro uh, and you'll see all about that. But but essentially when you're, when you're setting up your pins, you're flipping this over um, so that the, the pin part of it is here. And that's how you align and set up for your tails. I know this sounds a little weird, but that's, that's how it is. Plus the screws are on the other side. So then all you have to do is take the whole unit, flip it over, set it, push it back in, and then it's all set. If you, if you see here, um, it's all set. Now, the beauty of this is that even if they're off, the tails, the through tails, are going to match the pins because that's the way the unit works. Once you set it, you forget it. It's good. And you can also do that for decorative purposes or you can do it for um, strength purposes, so on and so forth. So I highly recommend if you get the Lead D4 that you use your manual. I had to, to you know, do a refresher um, so that I could get my my units set up and ready to go. So I did, like I said, I did the maintenance. Maybe I didn't say that, but I did maintenance on this. And you can look that video up not too long ago. So, all right. Another thing you want to do is for your stock, you want to mark your stock and make it very clear what those pieces are. So this is the through tail uh, stock here. And they have their own proprietary little markings here. That basically, if you see that mark and you're using this mark, you know that that's going to be a tailboard. Okay. And I, in addition to that, wrote on it outside. So now I know that that's, that's the outside. All right. So whether it is or is not the outside, at least you're going to know, um, have the orientation of the inside and the outside as you cut it. I know that didn't make sense. Sorry. Um, and so then what you do, um, you pick, you've got this all set. You push it against this stock piece of uh, metal there. And what you do is you take the pin board and you put it here. And then you put a pencil mark. You just basically draw a pencil mark underneath this. So we know that the tails have to at least be, be able to go through the thickness of this board here. All right, so that's the concept there. So then 
you take it. This is going to be very difficult for me to do. I'm going to try. This router is really, really heavy. Uh, this is a look up the uh, details on this. So you set this down and I've got it all set and you're going to take the router bit and it's going to be in the center of this wood piece, this uh, line. Okay. That's what that's all about. Now, that being said, this router being really, really heavy, when you're using the dovetail jig, you don't want to push down uh, on the pins. And everything is quite solid here, but you, you, you don't want to push down on it. Okay. That's where this comes in. Again, you don't have to buy this auxiliary uh, fence here. or well, not fence, but support. It's got rare magnets in it. So you're going to set your router down. And the dust collection is amazing. So it does two things. It supports your router so that you don't have to think about, you know, ooh, you know, going too far down that way. And it's going to suck up that dust. So I'm definitely uh, going to be hooking that up shortly. I have a, uh, a jet dust collection system that sucks up the five uh, microns. And so he is really, really um, useful when when uh, making all that dust. So there you go. Um, so I am practicing. I don't do this every day. If I did it every day, it would be no, no big deal. But I'm practicing not on the more expensive uh, paddock wood in the purple. So... There you go. Thanks for watching. Trying to keep my videos a little shorter. Um, got any questions about how to set this up? Um, please let me know. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come over here and show you um, a really cool unit. I think it's over here. I did angled dovetails. Um, and, oh, I think I know where it is for some crazy reason. It's actually over here. Check this out. This dovetail jig allows you to do angled dovetails. Isn't that awesome? All right. That's pretty cool. So... All the math is figured out for you with the jig. So here's my tails, here's my pins. And often what I'll do is I'll make my, my tails deeper. Deeper than they need to be because having them be not deep enough, right, means you have to do sanding on this part of the unit. That's not what you want to do. I can now just sand down these these uh, tails so there you go yeah that was a lot of fun lots and lots of fun and look at my friend in there isn't that cool all right thank you for coming into my shop and um, we're gonna be doing some various things this uh, winter of 20 into 2021 and uh, please uh, stand by for those we're going to have lots of fun take care god bless do my usual goodbye shalom bye bye